My name is Sid from Trailtech Laser. Today I'm here with our college students from Meadowvale Secondary School, and we're going to be going over some projects we've done by Ukrainian artists for the benefits of Ukraine. Hey, my name is Zaid. For my project, I made these glasses and this pencil holder. The pen holder is made from translucent yellow 3mm acrylic and opaque blue 3mm acrylic. I chose these colors to support the crisis in Ukraine that is currently happening. I tweaked the design from the basketball net to just have the backboard engraved. The reason I made the design blue and yellow is because it's the colors of the Ukrainian flag. These are the first pair of glasses I made. The lenses are made from clear acrylic and are attached with double-sided tape between the inner frame and the outer lens. Also the material I used was black glossy 3mm acrylic material. The lenses are also glued to the inside of the frame so they seamlessly fit it in. Both these projects were made in support of the Ukraine crisis and I am proud to say that I stand with them during their tough times. Hi, my name is Hosam. For my projects, I made this wall design and this mechanical box. One of the projects I've been working on was the mechanical box. It is a box that is put together with gears and other parts that's meant to open when a wheel is spun. I first started off by splitting up the design into two parts so that it would fit on two 60 by 30 centimeter wood, which is three millimeters thick. The first time I cut the design out for my prototype, I was engraving all the designs, which took a long time and didn't look as good. I then started putting it together, but I found out that some of the holes were smaller than the sticks and that the sticks wouldn't fit in. I then made those holes bigger so that I could fit the sticks in easier. Finally, I managed to put it all together and it worked properly, unlike the prototype. My other project was a wall design. After learning that kiss cuts were better than engravings, I made this wall design completely out of kiss cuts and no engravings. This made it look much better than it would have looked if I just engraved it. After figuring out the settings and seeing that the prototype looked good, I added a little engraving in the middle of the design with my mom's name. I then cut out my mom's name on a piece of acrylic, which I put into the engraving from before. It looks good and my mom would be happy to get it. These projects were a good learning experience and were a lot of fun to make. This knowledge will help in the future if I decide to pursue a career in the technological design field. Hi, my name is Elishba Hussein, and I have made the calendar and the candle holder. For the first project, I used 5mm thick solid cherry wood. In this example shown, they had used wood. When making a candle holder, I believe wood will stand out more. When cutting, I used the Rajit R400. I divided the cutting process in two since the length of one wood piece is 60 centimeters. After resizing, I was fully successful in creating this candle holder and was able to learn something new. My next project was also made with cherry wood. For this, I had to think more so about what wood looks better with engraving. Having my co-op placement here, I got to learn more about certain woods. For example, bamboo wood does not look the best with engravings. Cherry is one of the woods that looks better with engraving, and since a lot of the calendar including engravings, this would be a big, very big factor. To put it all together, I used glue. You need to first apply one layer of glue, then then a second part to put the glue on top. After letting it dry for a bit, it should be able to easily spin. We searched on Etsy for laser cut files and then we set the geolocation to Ukraine. This way we found tons of artwork files created by Ukrainian artists and designers. We purchased seven different items we liked and recreated them. The students took all of their own photos and videos of how they made these projects. 
They had to go through some trial and error to make sure they got the right settings and fit for the materials they had to work with. We encourage everyone in the laser community to support Ukrainian laser artists and designers by geotargeting local businesses on Etsy. We will leave the link to these files in the description of this video.